Grayson Griner. What's going on? How are you? Good, man. For you, what's the best part about being a dad? Uh, just being with him every day. It's it's uh, the day he was born changed my life. Um, you know, before before you have kids, everything's kind of about you and in your personal life. And then the day the day your first kid's born, your whole perspective changes. You do everything for for your kids. And I mean, there's millions of books about how to be a parent, but. Um, right when they're born, those kind of go out the window. Uh, me and my wife are kind of learning on the fly and seeing what works and what doesn't. So uh, it's uh, it's definitely the best thing that's ever happened to me. How important has uh, has your wife been in, you know, with your schedule being the way it is, kind of her being the backbone and, and rearing him the right way? I got really lucky finding her and, and marrying her and starting a family with her. And um, when I get home, the house is always clean and I always have food. And Hudson's always, you know, he's alive, so she's doing a good <laughs> job. And... You don't realize how hard it is just to oh, keep them alive when they're really young. They put everything in their mouths and they're falling all over the place. But she does an amazing job with him, and um, you know, with my lifestyle, she's uh, she's definitely the rock of our family. You like to fish a little bit. What's your uh, kind of what do you like to fish for the most? Yeah, me and um, me and my brother-in-law, we f we fish on Lake Murray and we fish for striper a lot. Oh, nice. um, there's a r big striper. I mean, all year long you can catch striper on Lake Murray, and then. Uh, when I was in college, every year for my birthday, we'd go down to Hilton Head and go deep sea fishing, go for king mackerel, uh, bull reds, uh, grouper, everything. And uh, I, I love fishing. I love hunting. It's uh, in the off season, they're two of my favorite things to do. What about dogs? What about pets? You got a dog? I do. I have a beagle. Um, yeah, this, that's a big thing for you, right? Yeah, rescue. yeah. I teamed up with the, the Tigers Foundation and um, the Beagle Freedom Project. Uh, you know, my wife brought it to my attention how... Beagles are kind of the most abused dogs when it comes to human product testing. The Beagle Freedom Project is big on rescuing these dogs and trying to pass legislation to, to put a stop to it. What about your time in South Carolina? What, uh, how did that kind of help shape you into who you are today? It was awesome. Um, since I was a little kid, that's all I ever, ever wanted to do was play South Carolina and then play in the big leagues. And My grandfather played football there and my dad played basketball there, so there was never really any doubt where I was going to go to school. and. Luckily, uh, you know, academically and athletically, I was able to do that. And uh, a lot of my best friends that that I talk to just about every day are still, you know, they were my roommates in college. They were my teammates, and keep in touch with a lot of them. So they, it was definitely three of the best years of my life at, at South Carolina. My coaches, Coach Tanner, Coach Holbrook, were great and uh, teaching me the game, teaching me about life. And um, I just loved loved every minute at South Carolina. I got to play in a national championship my freshman year, which was really cool. And Are you a big TV watcher? Yeah, yeah. What's your show? What's your guilty pleasure? <laughs> oh, man. Me and Jacoby were just, we just did our top 10 TV shows oh, really? in the clubhouse. We were talking about TV shows. Uh, I don't know. I'm curious. Tom. My top 10? Yeah. Uh, I had Game of Thrones 1, okay. Seinfeld 2, um, Breaking Bad 3, The Sopranos 4, The Wire 5, Friends the Office, Mad Men, Sons of Anarchy, and Lost. Biggest influence in life in general? Uh, my dad. He's uh, he's always been there for me since day one. My mom and my dad, really. They uh, they did everything for me growing up. Supported my dream, and um, my dad was he was a coach, so he's kind of always been in my corner. He never pushed me. He always just said, if you want to go do something, I'll always be here to, to take you to do it. And, and he never wavered from that. He, anything I wanted to do, he was always in the backyard throwing to me or taking me to get lessons or whatever it was. But uh, both my parents were, uh, you know, I wouldn't be anything close to, to where I am without them. And um, hopefully I can be that for my, my kids. Grayson Griner, appreciate yep. it, man. Thanks for having Dug me. Dugout Social. Appreciate it.